This show contains scenes of violence, coarse language, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. So maybe you remember what's going to happen. Maybe you won't remember, Cardinal. But maybe this will get the message across that you shouldn't mess with us. Understood? We had given Andriatris and the people enough time. It was time to do what had to be done. Let that be a lesson. Let that be a lesson to everybody in this town. And you just see the air bubbles start coming up as they both sink to the bottom. Beautiful. Well, that is very, very productive of you, Kakashi. You know, <laughs> probably even more. Productive than some of my own Italian men. Didn't really like, you know, how they snitched on, on Jimmy and, and Sal. You know, you just yeah. don't do that. The man so. works for the Andriachis, another family, and the golden rule is never to snitch. Don't be that guy. You don't go to the cops after something happened and go fucking snitch. Oh, 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 the Moretti's hurt me. Oh, they, they scared me in my church. Acting all fucking exactly. innocent. Exactly. He's not very good at it, though. Everybody I talk to says they heard him say something about the family. Yeah, he's been saying a lot of things, probably listening on a lot of things, trying to, you know, be a little fucking snaky rat that he is. That's what he's doing. Yeah, I feel sorry for that family having people like him among you. You know, nobody needs that. It's a damn shame, but you know, they're not going to see it that way. Probably not. And that's too bad. If they like to be a bunch of fucking rat pricks, then that's on them, you know? Not on me. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see much of the war, as my men shielded me from it all. But it wasn't without casualties, I can say. However, on this day, everything changed when Sal asked to see Snow. Mr. Longbeard. Good day, Sal. I've been, uh, presented with an idea that, uh, someone might have been spreading some information that is, uh, steeping into my ears. I'm not entirely sure you. I wanted to run this by you. Just the idea. I had the feeling for a week oh, already. Yeah, <laughs> wish I'd had that feeling sooner. If it's true, of course, you know. I will have to uh, take it up with my bosses, and uh, said person will be disposed of. Now, um, I'll be honest with you. We do really just want to do business. Yes, we have talked about making hits. Not hits in the sense that we want to kill you, but, you know, take away business from you, because we didn't feel like we were getting a meeting that we wanted. Mm -hmm. We do want that meeting, Snow. Never got around to it. I can make that happen, but uh, However, I needed to. we need to test the waters first. We need to figure out who you guys are. If there is of course, worth course our time to have a meeting. Of course, I understand that. It's all business here, I understand that you're businessmen too. Now, a couple weeks ago, Miss uh, Hart came into my life, Sophie. Yeah. We had a good time. And uh, one of your boys, Wade, didn't seem to take that very well. In fact, he uh, told uh, Sophie straight up that he very much wanted to kill me. And that he wished he could have shot me right outside the uh, club when we came to uh, take over the lease at one point. However, he also told her that uh, he couldn't do it because you and your boss had told him not to escalate anything. True that. Is that true? Yep. Very good. See, that's what we've been telling our boys all along. Don't escalate anything. We're waiting for this meeting. We want to do this right. And then the hit started coming in, you know? Started getting information that uh, you had ordered a hit on me. That is not and, true. Uh, I'm glad to hear that. See, what uh, Sophie told me today is that everyone I heard this from had it from the same source. Because that source helped Sophie Hart into uh, making the decision that she should be with me, convinced her that she had to pick a side, and that I was the right side to go with. Perhaps it was to start shit. Oh, I highly suspect it. I highly su I'm suspecting that for a week now, trying to figure out who it is. I have my suspicions, so I really, really anticipate the name here. Tell you what, make an agreement with me. No more hits for the next two days. Both sides. If we don't find an agreement by then, if we don't agree that this guy is dirty, fair enough, void is. But for now, peace in the streets. I can agree to that. Very good. Johnny Ringo, name you're familiar with, I think. Oh yeah. Because he's the one who told her all this shit. Yeah. Kept pushing her that uh, she had to make a decision, had to make a choice. And I'll be honest with you, hearing that Wade actually wanted to kill me pisses me off. And yes, I would love to beat the shit out of that fucking asshole. But I'm also smart enough to know that that's not gonna help anything right now. Absolutely not. Seems that the uh, vision is growing stronger. Wade just told Sophie, and I'll be honest, I don't trust Wade. But he just told Sophie that uh, Johnny gave him information today on where some of our people were. 
Oh yeah, he got the information oh. earlier about uh, certain individuals. Very well. I'll be having a talk with my uh, higher-ups today. I'm not sure how that's going to land on me because Johnny was my informant and that means it's my ass. So hey, if this is our last meeting, Mr. Snow, I'm happy it was a good one. Yeah, I agree on that. Um, I had the feeling that somebody's been, you know, pulling strings and stirring the pot for a week now. Starting with the whole biker yeah. incident down at, down at the strip club. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I will figure this out. I have two days now. Very good, very good. Well, let's hope we can solve this, as now. Get back to business, make money. Absolutely. Shortly after, Sal came to me and Brandon to forward the news. The war we're currently in, why did that arise? A hit on me, correct? Hmm, yeah. Yeah, but I'd say maybe those fucking biker... Those biker guys, you know, when they first hit on fucking Snow and his friend. That probably triggered oh, yeah, something. Okay. Yeah, and then, uh, then they put a hit on you. I mean, me and Jimmy has had a hit on us since fucking... Since they fucking discovered we existed. Well, they didn't go for us at least, right? When that hit was made against me, all our sources, everyone who came and told me, all got that from one person. Johnny Ringo, our informer. I put out uh, feelers about the latest rumor that there was a $300,000 hit on my head, which is laughable, of course. That's a ridiculous amount of fucking money. <laughs> Completely. Now, I apologize before I say this, but when I got this suggestion, I took it upon myself to go meet with uh, Snow Longbeard. I just came back from that meeting. I uh, suggested to him that uh, maybe Johnny Ringo is trying to push our families against each other mm. to make it easier for him and his boys to roll in and take over some of the market. All right. What now, do you suggest, yeah. My suggestion is, I just spoke to Longbeard, as I said, and we have agreed to, if you agree to it, 48 hours peace. No shooting, no robbing each other, no doing anything bad. While well, we try to figure out if Johnny Ringo is behind all this shit. 48 hours pass and we haven't found a solution. We'll continue the war if we need to. He also said uh, that yeah. he would whisper into the ear of his boss that now is the time to meet with you. Fuck's sakes, it took all of this, all of this to fucking get us to sit together. Okay, listen. Again, I we'll want do to the 48 uh, hours. apologize for this. No, 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 no. no it's fine, no. You're a capo, okay? It is your job as a captain to lead this family, okay? You had a hunch, you. you took a second, and you did it, and it paid off. Now we can sleep for the next two days without worrying about killing each other, but we must make sure that everybody knows this. After two days, we found out it was the truth. Some people were pulling strings to get our families against each other, but it went deeper than just Ringo and Sophie. Nonetheless, Antonio Andriacci had finally agreed to sit with me. Mr. Andriacci. Good evening. It is a pleasure to finally meet you face to face. May I offer to shake your hand? It's a pleasure to meet you. Already. Yes, finally. It has taken me a long time, and we're finally here. Please, uh, have a seat. Finally, the long-awaited meeting. So, it is my understanding that things have went eh, a little south, as some would say. Huh? I think we agree on that. Yeah, we do agree on that. I really wish I stayed that day. You know, when we actually accidentally arrived upon your beautiful property. I would have enjoyed to have met you that day, because I'm sure things would have been a lot different. Hopefully, anyways. And today, I, I am hoping that uh, we can actually come to some sort of agreement, because it's become very apparent to me that you are not leaving this city anytime soon, and I think it has come apparent to you and your family as well that we will be around for quite some time. We're not planning to leave either, is what I'm saying. I'm not sure if you're familiar, but there were five families back in Liberty City. They worked very well. They were organized. They were making a lot of money, hitting banks left and right, both the groups sharing the profit. What could go wrong? We have the same enemy, do we not? Yes, we do. Exactly. See, I didn't hit your guys during this whole war as hard as we should have. And that reason is because I have too much respect for you, Mr. Andriachi. You know, you've laid your roots into this city, and I respect that. And I don't want to stomp over any of what you have done. I, I just want to work with you and make it even better. And so I could have a beautiful life like you have a beautiful life. Same thing. We show respect, and we expect to gain that respect back. Of course. But the problem is... When your family members touches the holy man of my family, that is a friend of the, my family, that was a big problem for me. I could chime in. 
Yes, just for would a you? minute, please. Yes. We're referring to the car, are we not? Yes, we are. Yes, we do. But I was the one to actually talk to the Cardinal, and anybody who was there could tell you. I treated that man with the most respect that I could. Never touched him. All I did was just ask him to have a chat with me, and once that chat was over, I said, hey, go back to whatever you were gonna do. We, you know, we never hurt you, we never did, we never, I never insulted him, I never yelled at him. I just asked him for some information. That was about it. And this is when the build-up of all the tensions and the uh, insults and all the threats that we had with each other, those are when those were, you know, all built up. You think guns on the church just to have a chat with the cardinal is a good idea? Is that the way that respectful men Listen, does it? I, I, I want you to understand Danny. something here, Mr. Andriachi. With all due respect, we know the cardinal is much more than what he is. Well, what he was, in fact. You think we don't have eyes and ears everywhere. We have people around you. Sometimes you talk a little too loud. You know, I got people working for me out there that's not part of the family. But they get paid well. And I get reports, but sometimes it's bullshit. I, I'll give you that. But I know the Cardinal was much bigger in rank in your family than you expect. I'm not sure where, but I know he was part in the ranks. You look at it from our shoes. We see the Cardinal hanging out with the Andriachis. We hear about him hanging out with the Andriachis. We know that he's with you a lot of times. We have now, death threats against us. Time, we don't hits put on my you man. Can't. You know, what do you want me to do? I was desperate. I needed to get in contact with you. And so this was the only way. And then he ended up going to snitch to the cops. You know that? Did you know that? He's a little snitch. Why did he do that? You know? You don't snitch. You don't go to the fucking cops. You're fucking enemies. Have you even talking to Sal the past days? Oh, yeah. No, I'm getting to that. We're just working with a timeline here. We have not seen each other since everything started here. My issue here is if you don't know how much disinformation has been placed around this city the past three days, yes. you are uninformed. No, 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 no. Again, Snow, with all due respect, okay? I am getting to that. I have spoken with Sal, and we understand that there's a few things that were said and done that might have set a lot of things in motion. People saying some bullshit, all right? Getting us to kind of exactly. hate each other. Now I understand now what's going on here. And maybe a well, lot of miscommunication. A lot of random people, even your resources or my sources, just trying to make it forward and backward steps, just throwing bullshit right and left, because they know they don't, they didn't want this meeting to happen. Apparently, there is a mystery behind the Cardinal getting murdered. Not only Mr. Ringo, not only Sophie Hart, Cardinal Salvatore Maton. Before he got murdered, he had some sources saying that it was one of the issues that caused us to be swore with your family the fire that caused the force to be like that between us i understand you see i think we're alike very much i mean we're from the same source here so we know what we're doing we're two very capable mature men here and i'm sure it's all a misunderstanding snow was explaining about the investigation on us and i understand that now i mean we were trying to investigate you guys as well so you know it's a big circle and it took a while before we could sit here today Unfortunately, things were thrown around and said, which led to a war between us. And we had still never sat down together. And I thought that was a shame, Antonio. But now I'm glad that I'm here. I'm glad you accepted to sit down with me today. You know, on this time of peace right now. I don't want to get in your way, all right? But I don't want you guys to get in my way either. We should be able to work together. Double our forces. And we could fucking truly get everything. Tony. What are you exactly offering? I'm just curious. I'm offering my partnership to bind our families in the committee. Look, I'm serious when I say I want to work with you guys, okay? And we're very capable of going on with this war, but we don't want to. We could be working together against the others. We're from the same branch. We should be working together. So take the offers I've given you about everything, and you take the time you need to think about it. I guess I will thank you, Dom Moretti, for your hospitality. Of course. The offers is on the table. Yes. And as I told you, as a reasonable man, a legit businessman, we'll take our time and you will get your answer. Of course. I appreciate your time, Antonio. <clears throat> we'll contact each other. Yes, we will. Uh, mind you, I give you my personal number directly this time. And you give me yours directly. So we don't uh, have to go through <laughs> all this shit again. <laughs> Let's do that. While we waited for Antonio to decide on our offer, business could finally continue with our bulletproof vests on. But this didn't mean we were done bumping into trouble. Boss. Hey. Yeah. So, uh, let me talk to you just for a hot second. So, the two guys outside there 
driving a bumblebee mobile. They're part of a group called Off World Security. They're, you know, they're the security service, but they're like, you know, super goody two shoes security service, you know, they're like vigilantes, basically. They also provide security for the good guys while uh, taking away the bad guys, is what they say. They heard word that the Moretti's live in that house up there, and I said, they might, who's asking? And he said, uh, well, me, uh, you know, I just want to make sure that you guys aren't the, uh, you guys aren't the bad ones. Excuse me. He said, I want to make sure that you guys aren't the bad ones. And I told him, yeah, we ain't. And uh, now he wants to see, he, he asked if we could have a tour of the scrapyard. A tour? Why would they want a tour of the scrapyard? Did we hire them? We... Yeah. No, no. But I'm just saying he wants one, so I should tell him no. Well, you just say right now, it's really, uh, I mean, they can always uh, just wait till we hire them, I suppose. I mean, I don't yeah, understand what the reasoning yeah, is behind the, the visit over there. You know, other than compromising no, our yeah. position, if anything. Yeah, I'll tell him to fuck off. Tell him. Oh, to be respectful, Jimmy, for fuck's sake, eh? <laughs> I mean, of course. It is just how I'm talking to you about it. <laughs> well, here's the thing, right? Uh, it is in our opinion that this city is crime riddled. Okay? Oh, it is indeed. Now, yeah, yeah, tell me about it. And the police, God bless their soul, we pay their taxes to make sure that they don't go off the rails. You know, to fuck over people in inappropriate ways. Of course. They can't really investigate without warrants, without without law, you know? So they're kind of hamstring when it comes to people trying to play it careful, you know? Mm -hmm. And I, I, it is my opinion that the people who play it careful are usually the worst to yeah. society in general. And I, I, I can't disagree with you, uh, Mr. I'm Andy Fordham. Uh, to my left here, this is Joseph. He's worked for about a year or so. Andy and Joseph, That's pleased to meet work. you, uh, even if it's in these circumstances. But of course, you understand, I, uh, I do not have anything to hide, and if they have a court order, then I'll be more than happy to let them go through at any point. Even if you had one right now, I would say, go ahead, go look. I don't keep no uh, dirty stuff in there. I don't have no fucking uh, weapons or anything like that. I don't have, uh, you know, uh, I'm not that stupid, you know. It's my place of work. It's my business. Yeah. You know, it's it's my baby. It's what keeps uh, keeps me going, keeps my friends going, you know. So we can conclude this meeting now. We don't need you no more. Yeah. Good meeting you. You have a safe yeah. drive. Oh. Uh, okay. Thank you, guys. Uh, Thank you, gentlemen. All right, Joseph. Uh, just follow him. We'll keep a good pace of, like, I don't know, two or three car lanes. Sure nothing's going weird. All right. Yep. We'll do, sir. <laughs> you can't be going out there doing any jobs right now. Those guys are fucking following you. So you either get rid of the problem, guys, or you got I no job to. tonight. Let's get rid of the problem then. Excellent. All right. All right. Rainy, what do you got on you? Pistol? I just got a pistol. Yeah. All right. I worked. Good. Somehow, my guys lost these two idiots. But at least they were gone, until Andriachi sent me a text saying he had a gift for me. Now, I don't know how, but these two idiots managed to fall right onto the Andriachi's lap. Oh, uh, you guys are Moretti's. Jesus Christ, I knew I was onto the right track. We are not Moretti's. Oh, dude, I got you red-handed. You don't know what oh. you're fucking doing, eh? That's quite clear. <laughs> not well informed for your type of business. I know what I'm hearing. You guys are all fucking Moretti's. They're not Moretti's. Oh, look at this. Do not mistake yourself. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Now, I don't want to interrupt you guys. Go ahead. So, this fun gentleman were following us, and we, of course, did our thing and snagged him up, and he told us a little story about him, him and all his associates gonna take wink wink care of the Moretti's one way or another. Regardless uh -huh. how long time it will take, so yeah. we figured you guys want to talk to him. Yeah, That's, yeah. Oh, we already talked. That's yeah, very cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, they were following us, and they weren't very uh, discreet about it either. And they literally quite said, uh, keep an eye on them and everything, and we wanted to see where they wanted to go with this. And then, and then we understood, and then it was a little too late. They were gone, and it looks like, it looks like, well, my friend, my friends here have found you. I'm very pleased by this. Thank you so much. I, I don't know what to say. Listen, this is very intimate. I like hearing people's voices, but it's take the blindfold off. You Can you shut the, the fuck up for a minute? Yeah, We're having a discussion That's here. Right. Yeah, thank you. Well, I hear that your boys want to have some fun tonight, so... <laughs> I think and I'm sure that they will take care of them. 
<laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Thank of you. Course. Thank you so much. <laughs> It's a beautiful night, except for the smog. Hey, uh, Casey, go out front with Rainy just in case his boyfriend. Yeah, it feels nice out. This guy has absolutely nothing but a phone. Yeah, we like to travel light. Uh, you right, don't no, even have a gun on you, dude. What did you expect? We're not, we're not really violent people. Andy, Andy, let me ask you this. How the fuck do you expect to take down the bad guys if you ain't got no fucking guns? Well, I mean, we're not gonna, like, fucking murder people. That'd be fucking... I think uh, he's, he's well, here to investigate people. I'm th I think he's here to investigate people and then report them to the police. In other words, Jimmy is a fucking snitch. Either yeah, way, he's a snitch. He's working right. for the wrong side. You know, I think. That's what I think. I don't know. I mean, you guys are kind of kind of the bad guys. You know, I don't like working for bad guys. What what makes me a bad guy? Can you tell me? What's guys? your what's your fucking investigation brought to you so far? Please tell me, Andy. I'm fucking waiting right here. Let's go. I'm listening. What do you got on me? What makes me a fucking bad guy? Well, you got a fair amount of thugs carrying illegal weapons, kidnapping people in the city. It's kind of precarious. I don't know what, uh... Ah. Alright, we're moving. We're going again somewhere. Oh, oh, it's wet. Okay, we are in... <laughs> chlorine? Oh boy, I'm in chlorine. Ooh. Ooh. Fucking water boy. This Don't guy. kill him. Obviously, we're not bad people. Shut up. Anyway, yeah. Uh, all right. It's just, just so I'm clear, the, the tact we're going with here is you guys are saying you're completely innocent, right? That's the vibe I, you're trying to drop. I mean, it's. I not never a said that. It's... She's putting Fair words enough. in my mouth. I never said I was well, completely I mean, innocent. Kinda, it's kind of the vibe, you know. You're just like, how dare you accuse me? Oh, kind of thing, forgive me, know? Andy. That's not what I wanted to uh, betray here. I'm a businessman. Right, my bad. Okay, I think that's pretty fucking clear. The information was given to you, and, uh, yeah. Well, I don't really take too kindly to that shit. You know, you coming around and poking around when you shouldn't, you know, that's not gonna end well for you or your friends. I mean, he's, he's claiming we commit crimes, but Salking's a crime. Salking's yeah. a serious crime. Well, he comes to, you well, know, he, he's stalking yeah. me. That's what I'm saying. It's not gonna end well for him. He's gonna end up in jail, because all he is is a vigilante acting above the law. You have hey. no fucking validation on anything you've been saying. Nothing. And no you have validation. not given us a name. No, no names, no validation to me, okay? They're just speculations. That's all they are. What, a, Again, what about personal experience? You know, like specifically personal experience tonight. Well, yeah, personal experience for tonight, yeah. Okay, Andy, let's get it clear, all right? I'm not a bad guy. Right. If you don't make me a bad guy, you make me a bad guy, I'm going to be a bad guy. Is that clear enough so far? Yeah, that, that makes sense. If someone makes pushes sense, you, right? you push back. Yeah, exactly, you know, I'm just trying to protect my honor here. Defamation of character is not very nice either. Let me say yeah. something real quick, uh, Andy. How you yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah. How you doing? So I, I got a gun sure. to get right now. I got a gun to the back of your head. Well, so uh, you didn't shoot your me. buddy, your nice. buddy's outside. Your buddy's outside in his little bumblebee car, following a circle in the house. And we should tell him to come into the property with his hands up, or else you're gonna get a fucking cap in the back oh, of your head. You hear me? Uh, I'm not gonna actively put my da my agents in danger. So I, that's that's an order I can't do. There's no All way. Right, Absolutely no way. See you later, Andy. All right, we had an intruder in the house, and we protected ourselves. Stood our grounds. Hey, he jumped exactly. over that back wall back there. Like, what the hell, man? They would never be a problem again. The next night, I had a meeting with the Valentinos. And since Natasha wanted to visit the scrapyard, I decided to let her tag along to give her the grand tour before my meeting. This is the uh, main office, right here. Oh, nice. Eh, well, you know, it's not much. It's just a nice little office with a nice little view. I do enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, it's a very nice view. Yeah, you know, I like the city lights at night. It's relaxing. Well, this is where I do all the fucking paperwork on that big old fucking dirty desk, and it looks like I still left the pizza box there. Yeah, I gotta get somebody to clean that. <laughs> you need a more comfortable chair, too, shit. Especially if you're sitting here all the time. Yeah, maybe that explains all the fucking knots I've been getting, too, eh? <laughs> Speaking of which, I think I got well, one in my you... lower back. <laughs> we can go in the hot tub later. Hey, boys, how you doing, eh? <laughs> so, uh, glad you made it, eh? 
it's too fucking bad that we had to fucking, uh, you know, call in the elite team to actually do this job. You know, I thought my source was good. I thought this Richard guy, eh? I thought he would actually fucking kill Tony. And I guess he didn't do it. He didn't love his mother enough. Eh? But it you know, doesn't matter. We're here now. Have you called in some reinforcement uh, and all that? Yeah. Reinforcement done, eh? All right, excellent. Let's go scope out that fucking yard. I know they've been working over there. I got all the info from Richard. So, uh, you know, we know where we're going here. If you see that girl, eh? Yeah, I think uh, I think her name is Natasha or something like that. Some fucking dancer. You could use her to get to him, okay? Keep that in mind. I want you guys to keep that in mind. We got it? Yeah, it's a nice Wait, place. You need someone to jazz this up this place so a little bit. You know, you could visit around, keep looking around, you know, make yourself comfortable, get some ideas, right. you know, for the place, maybe. Um, Very cool, yeah, I can most definitely come up with ideas. Maybe get a, like, a little area rug or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cover up all the blood stains. <laughs> yeah, might have to do that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, how about you do that, uh, you know, just uh, right. when, he, when he gets here, you know, because I want to spend every goddamn minute I can with you, so... <laughs> Oh, I don't know what I did to be so lucky. I don't know what I did to... I don't know what I did to be so lucky, too. I mean, look at you. So goddamn hot. <laughs> you could have anybody. <laughs> and, and you're with me right now. I mean, that means a lot to me. You know? There's just something about you. Like, I can't explain it. I'm like drawn to you like a magnet. I know. I know the feeling. Trust me. Sometimes I wonder why the fuck I started all this. <laughs> Boys, the uh, Valentino is here to see you. Oh. Ah, uh, yes, the meeting. Uh, okay, uh, hey, darling. Why don't you uh, go do what I told you? Just check around, see if you could come up with some really nice ideas. Uh, you know, just spruce right. it up. All right. I got you. All right, I'll see all you right, in a minute. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. <clears throat> well. Yeah, it's just over there. I right, take it closer. Take it easy right here. Close your lights. All right, park right here. This will be fine. I don't want to go too far in there. Let's go. All right, I want all you to fucking split up right now, okay? I want a couple of guys in the front, and a couple of us are gonna go from the back. We're gonna fucking take them down one by one until we get Tony and we get fucking Jimmy, yeah? So, uh, that's good, you know? I'm glad everything, yeah, you guys are back. I, I know things were shaky, like I said, and, uh, you know, I was kind of afraid that we were losing the Valentinos, you know? Seemed like a really good family, capable men, very capable men, and it would have been a damn fucking shame to lose that, you know? Yeah, we're trying our best to be around, you know, when things happen, it slows people down, so... Ah, for sure. For sure. Well, like I said, just, you know, if you could open your ears any way you can, find out more about the Andriachis, just make sure that, you know, whatever they told us, you know, sticks. You know, that they're not fucking trying to play behind their backs. Uh, they are not familiar with our alliance, and that is a good thing right now. You know, use that at your advantage. But for now, you know, we are at peace with them, so everything should be okay. For how long, I don't know. Hey, Tony, I'm sorry to cut your meat and short, but we gotta all get outside now because I see a fucking car and I swear to God, Mickey Mullo's in it. You kidding me? All right, listen up, all right? All right. Now you see that fucking George over there? We're gonna have to start taking him out, eh? So how about uh, we start this fucking attack? It's better now than never. If we don't fucking do this, we're not gonna oh. be ready. Hopefully reinforcements gonna come in, eh? Yeah, yeah. All we right. got this. We got this. Boss. Fucking gas him right now, eh? Let's go. Get down. Shit, Michael! Shit! Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking shit! Let's go, let's go, Enforcement's arrived. We're gonna fucking do it, boss. Yeah, we're gonna fucking do it. Don't worry about it. Alright, let's not fuck around, guys. This is it. We can't go back to Liberty City without killing Tony and Jimmy. Let's do it. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
fucking don't try anything, bitch. I'll put your fucking hey, brains on the fucking pavement. Yeah, I remember. You gotta fucking go and get this Tony gang. Fuck you, Mickey Marlowe, you son of a bitch. Fuck. Shit. That oh was Mickey. Oh my fucking god. That was Mickey. You're gonna be fucking useful, alright? So shut your fucking whore mouth. You're gonna be so fucking sorry about this. Oh, we'll see about that, sugar teach. Yeah, yeah, just fucking uh, uh, keep going, you know, through the, the fucking door over there. Hey, Merlo Swiss cheese, but the rest of them are coming. Get the cover now. Shit. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, motherfucker got me in the leg. Chill, buddy. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Motherfucker. Those are the only ones who followed us up. Come on, let's go. I don't know where the fuck Natasha is. Yeah. All right. I got it. Let's go, let's go. Keep me covered in front, eh? Hey, we got your girl, so put your fucking hands up, or she's gonna fucking die, you alright? You fucking hear me? Whoa, 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 you motherfuckers, you fucking shocked Johnny! I swear to God, I'll fucking blow her head off! You fucking stay where you're at! You fucking stay where you're at! I'll fucking kill the bitch! I'll fucking do it! You fucking don't move! You! Get fucking back! No, there ain't no fucking way I ain't leaving here without her! You are the last one alive, and there are like six Yeah, well, I have the fucking bitch that's... Listen, we can keep you alive. You're not gonna survive if you shoot us. Johnny did something not very smart like you're doing right now. Fucking step back, bitch. You fucking let step back. Eden, step back. It's not back. fucking happening, okay? Either either I fucking you're, leave with her, I'm dead anyway. Go. You're not you're not gonna die. I'm a respectable person, and I give you my word that you're not gonna die if you just let her go. Not fucking happening, chooch. Please you could be useful to us. Let me go. Think about what you're happening. doing here. I'm fucking thinking you need to step fucking back. Alright, get ready. Healing the fucking evading is happening! Shit, shut up, Cosmo, shut your fucking face! Jesus Christ. <sighs> Fuck up. Right, just take cover. Just fucking take cover. And don't fucking say anything. Alright? Don't do anything. Don't fucking say anything. Unless your life is in fucking danger. You hear me, Cosmo? Alright, shh. Just calm down and what let it go. What are you fucking doing? Stay fucking back. I swear to hey. God, I'll fucking waste it. Only one thing's gonna happen here. If you don't yeah, let it go. she's gonna end up fucking dead if you don't fucking stop. Yeah, I don't think so that's what's you. gonna happen here. Oh. <laughs> you fucking chooch. <laughs> Baby, yeah, you're right. Go, oh my god, Tony. <sighs> I was so fucking scared. Fuck you fuck with the wrong girl! Fuck you! Oh my gosh. Hey, don't waste your ammo. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, a product. Sorry. Hey, it's alright. Let's some anger out. Let me help you out of this. Listen here, I'd hate, I'd hate to, to, uh, to ruin this heartfelt reunion, but that was a whole lot of fucking shooting, so I think we should move very quickly yeah. to the front Alright, yeah, no fucking around here. Sorry, sweetheart, hold on a second, stay with me. Okay, Brandon, I want go. you to take her. Oh. Take her right away, okay? Just get her the fuck hey, out of here. The, the, the people are all over. <sighs> Sally, you okay? You're, you're never gonna be able to fucking get out of here yeah, quick enough. Yeah, yeah. I'm Watch good. Out. I'm good. I got a bike. I'll be fine. Don't worry just about me. Boys. Take my gun. Get the fuck out of here, okay? Sal, take oh, my fucking gun. I gotta stay. I have no choice. Oh I'll just blame it on the locals or something. Course, Hopefully it'll be okay. Take my gun. Of course, boss. You got it. Boss, you can't fucking stay. There we go. All right. I, I gotta stay, Jimmy. I have no choice. They're gonna come. They're gonna look for me anyways. They've just been a fucking Let's shooter. Stay. Jimmy, I gotta stay, okay? You gotta understand that. Now you're gonna have to take care of the family if something goes wrong. Okay? I'm the brain, you're the arms, remember that. You could stay with you me if you want, you. but I wouldn't no, recommend it, Jimmy, if something happens to me, if they do book me, okay? You know how this is gonna fucking end, Tony. Don't fucking do this to me. I'm gonna be alright. They're gonna hunt me down anyways. This is my fucking warehouse, it's under my fucking name. So no matter what happens, no matter take care of the fucking family, Jimmy. You stubborn prick. You better make it Get happen. the fuck out of here! Hurry up! I gotta do. Can't talk myself out of this one. I'm 
was fucked. I tried to talk my way out of it. They didn't believe a word I was saying. But honestly, when I thought about it, maybe I wanted this to stop. Maybe I was ready to retire from being a Don. Maybe that's why I stayed behind. I found drugs, weapon, money inside. And I knew all about it. They kept me in jail with no bond until my court case. While the station wasn't busy, Jimmy was able to pay off some of the cops to let Natasha visit me. All right, boss, I bought you uh, maybe five minutes tops until my money runs out, so. Tony. Hey, how you doing, sweetheart? I'm okay, how are you? I'm fine, it's just a little bump in the road, you know? <laughs> I don't want you to worry about it. I'm gonna be okay. They just found a lot of things, you know, in that warehouse. I had to stay back and explain, yeah. There was no point in running. I didn't want to be a fugitive. Not with you. You don't deserve that kind of life. I just don't know what I'm gonna do without you. Jimmy's gonna take care of you, okay? Everybody's gonna take care of you. You're gonna be just fine, hey? And when I get out, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a nice long vacation. You and me, we'll take you anywhere you want. And we're gonna be fine. You promise me that? Of course I promise you that. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't put you through this at all. I messed up. I really did. You didn't expect for that to happen. They fucking rolled in. Yeah. Like, I felt so much relief once I fucking saw that guy go down behind, you know, fucking he falls on my feet. Mm. I knew I you were there. I believe it. I thought they already got to you and killed you. <sighs> Natasha, are you sure? You sure you want to stay with this guy? Baby, you're fucking stuck with me. I'm gonna wait for you, Tony. That's what I want to hear, but I just want to make sure that you're safe. All right, boys. She says, uh, get your last word in. Her supervisors are coming. We gotta go. I'll yeah. get them to take me to see you, okay? Of course. I'll come see you, baby. All right. Mm. You gotta go. <sighs> I'll see you soon, okay? Be safe in here, okay? Yeah. Please be safe. Yeah, we got some good guys. You're coming back to me. I promise you, I'm coming out of there. We'll take that vacation. All right, boys, we gotta go. Come on, Natasha. Boys, I got people in there. Don't worry, I'll look after you. Don't worry, I got connections in there. Fuck me. <sighs> Fuck sakes, I messed up. I was found guilty of possession of narcotics and firearms with the intent of redistribution. But I managed to escape the murder charges since the fight was blamed on the local thugs I hired. I got 10 months in state pen, and then... I guess I'll retire with the woman I love. Being a Don was never for me. So, that's how I landed in here. That's pretty much my story. <sighs> Sorry for the long talk there. Feels kind of good to just, you know, let it out, you know. I don't know, we've been cellmates for a long time now. Fucking hell of a story, man. Fucked up shit, you know. Hey, I'm gonna get released tomorrow, so. Everything's gonna be back to normal. You know, life's got its humps and all that, you know. You're gonna be out of here and everything's gonna be normal. Sounds like a lovely woman you got, you know, that her name is Natasha, right? I think she really likes me now. <laughs> More than ever. I mean, we still talk, you know, we've been talking for a while on the phone and everything. Uh, I just can't wait to see her tomorrow, you know. I guess there's not much more to tell about me. Glad you said talk to me these past months. Been a pleasure. And hey, maybe you should tell me your story next time, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. We'll... we'll see. Yeah. <sighs> I'm just gonna step away. I need to breathe for a minute. But, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later, John. Yeah, 
Tony. Uh, just one more, one more thing, you know. Uh, Andreacci sends his regards. Whoa, whoa, shit! What the? Oh. 